look at the beauty of this place now boy. Yeah. nice folks look at that yeah. Yeah. seems like a haunted house drink at the boat nice so big up when we out here we out here way yeah boy wave wave and smile <laughs> Morning folks, look at that day. Look how clear that water is there. Calm seas down in Anchorage Bay here. And we're heading out to the Aguamita Soul. You have a van there, they have a kayak out there named Zahir and Zahir and I can't remember. There's a green somewhere out there. Meet them Soulias. Cast some lures. Get some live bait, fish and stuff. I'm not solo today with the boat. Right, so we're almost there. Ready to head out in a bit. Nice. Now to go a little check up anchor, rod, gas, net, cooler, life jacket. Most important. Fishing gears. A little something to eat. Cricks alone. <laughs> Plan to catch a fish. And do a little loose up somewhere. So let's see how it goes. Ready to head out in a bit. Nice. So to get this. Baby started now. It's your fast little start. Alright, two bombs. Not bad. And we move in. So we can head somewhere out there. We can get ahead out of Five Island while the water calm. I'm not sure how the weather will pick up today. I have no bait, so I'm gonna use that. Control for the while. Yeah. Right, folks. I'll say big up to the wife. We met for sponsoring this hat. Something for the sun. Yeah. We have a little red head beat pulling there. Hope we get a little hit. I have no live bait. I have the net. I'll try something. The Barracuda rock here. So I hope um, I think them boys around the corner they start here. So we in this bay right next to the ship around the corner. You saw some bait a while ago. But came up close on them and they disappear. Looking to cast the cast net and get some bait. To do a little banking because it's been a while now. On that beautiful red head there. I can no hit and wow look at that bait, look at that bait. Right, you can cast in a bit.
Det er et voksal. Kan du ikke samme i kassen hvor jeg ketcher natten? I dem der er jo en du kvikk. Look at the beauty of this place now. Wow. Ocean, crystal clear water for the wild. Nice place to come and be here, shallow. So we want on that shoreline and take a deep water. I ain't to the bathing vibes as yet. We could take a fish or two first, secure that, and then we'll see how it goes. Real bait across there, but hard to catch. Nice folks, so I'll find the soldiers them. They're by the um, shipwreck here. Nice in the name. Sign up here. So you can check that out. Nice folks, look at our man on shore. And look who we are here. Zahir. Zahir. And and this is Timothy. 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 You have a kayak too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you come with yours? No, nah, no, nah, we come with you double. Alright, well. Yeah, yeah. Pressure today. Nothing to prevailing right now. But seen some nice waters here. Sandy shoreline. Never came on the shoreline. Yeah, never nice. They are good shoreline to plenty, come on. Plenty big fish in here. Isn't Shipwreck there and bait here and do a little this and that. Yeah. yeah. Where's the name of the ship? Alright. Ship pass out. Alright, so we're going to check out them for this setup. <laughs> you you went out Karani River Mount yeah, with yeah. a boat. Yeah. Oh, it's you. Right, right. Alright. The same kayak that we bought by Peaks. Yeah. Nice little set up here. Rod holders. The attachment. The seat descent. I feel like I get a seat like that. What is this for? What is this for? Cotton board. Cotton board. Oh, this one real organized way. Yeah. Yes, engine Suzuki. That engine looking like it has some good weight. Pontoons and stuff, and a beautiful day here. Yep, lovely huh? one. So we're still trying to get something before lunch. So, um, go a little roast up or something. This beautiful place here, sandy shoreline here. So let's see how it goes. Nice folks, so we can test out this vessel here. And we're experiencing some problems here. Water falling up here and we've got the sink, even though it have the um, pontoons. But what's going on? This pontoon, this whole thing twisting and the pontoons raising and stuff in the water. So I feel like the problem there. You gotta twist it down, send it down lowest, drill a hole there on the next side and lock it from turning. There's all the foreign kayakers. I don't know what they think. And we're out here. The vibe's nice still. We're yeah, catching all fish, Bobby. The vibe's nice. Alright, folks, we test around this baby here. Yeah. So far, we're gonna like oil. Boys in the back there. This is the same kayak I have. It could rig up like this much. Right? <laughs> this man has some skills. Yeah, gotta get a little used to this first. Yeah. Right, folks, so definitely this engine have a little too much power. When you ring out, Back of the kayak dropping this pontoon spinning and bringing the pontoon higher with the angle here. Just need to lock, and with two people, you cannot um, bring too much shuttle with this. Yeah, so you see how it goes anyway. Let me go back on shore and see what we're on. Guys, folks, look at that. Yeah, the man like Sahir and Timothy heading out, you know. You gotta meet them and hope you jump something nice. It's looking like a kayak set up from some Florida or one of them big kayak channel boy. Yeah. Wait now, so yeah. 
Your foot, foot jam. Right. Now I'm going to be on the table with your foot bent up so high. Any time you paddle in, your foot has to be straight out, you know? Yeah. yeah. Alright, so we're heading out there and try something. We are dead beat now. Let yeah. so me launch the vessel here and see what we are going. Nice box, so we out here, kayak fishers and mini Titanic. And check out that day, that's a well rigged kayak. <laughs> yeah, well, fellas, I, I feel like heading behind Carrera and try for a big salmon for the while. We're gonna eat something nice today. But catch out something big. Right, so there we here. Right, folks, what are we looking at there? Well, the tide dropping on underneath them rocks. It, the water got in about 10 15 feet, imagine that. So, in a time, and them rocks can come down, crash it. And the water nice so far. But I'll follow that water. And we out here, still open to get a nice jam. Hey, bait like that here, boy. Bait, bait. Nice. Yeah, I hit through this bait here. This is your Alright, so we go and try for some big salmon around Constat Island here. But notice that probably day bad weather. Probably had to go up on the jetty on this side on Constat and chill. Alright, here Constat, there can spray here. Point ball. Now we're not kind of getting a little jumpy, but small thing. Nice folks, imagine the outside here choppy and inside here like this. Inside here calm water like glass in this little hole here. Right outside here, a bit bad. So I'm leave I gotta chill out here for a while till the bad weather go on probably go up there, fish from the peak. And see what go on, explore a bit. Not roll one time like it's not too big. Perfect size. Folks, we again no live bait. We have fish with dead bait. Alright, so. Nice place to come and camp out here. Any place to cast out. Really, really bad weather. Going. Yeah, them Zagaya crabs, if I could get one or two of that hmm, business fix, I'll try and catch them. Constat history unfolds through a series of significant transformation beginning in 1850. Limestone mining activities thrived on the island for over a century until 1970. 
In 1919, it briefly served as a holiday retreat and health facility for the Trinidad Constabulary. In 1922, a portion of the eastern side spanning three acres was leased to the R.C. Archbishop of Port of Spain and later bought by the Crown in 1946. It was also a favored recreational destination for successive governors of the territory. Now, we, when we go up on the island to explore, I'll come to a house. It looks like a spooky haunted house. Probably that was the resident of the governor of the territory. So stay tuned and check this out. All right, folks, before we sell the fish, let me do a little quick, quick explore the area. There's some steps going up here. I don't know where this side was for back in the days. Looks like we have a track going up, so I go in too deep. And I step going up to some pillars there. Seems like it had a building here. Track heading. Track heading to some way. Alright. Seems like we have some better fish, fishing grounds on this side here. Some ancient pillars. Eh, eh. Now this look like the ultimate fishing grounds in the back here. By our side. Oh. Yes sir, this is the fishing grounds here. Beautiful water in the back here. Thought I could make it around that corner. No tracks to go around that corner. Oh lord. See that spooky house inside the forest there. It's a bit spooky. What is that? Alright, we have a house here. I wonder what was this for? I'm sure this is over 100 years old. Definitely. Yeah. More fishing drums on the side for you. Are in net? Beautiful. What was this for anybody? Let's say in the comment. What this house is about. Next room. Okay. Room with bathroom. Right, I, I know where this was for. Line. See if we get something. I think I'll come back here and gas. I think it might stick up. Now this is looking like cactus or dragon fruit. I don't know. 
you can just like dragon fruit tree I ain't seen no dragon fruit around nice little fortress here to come and camp out we have the electricity pole but we need to have more stuff up inside here eh, but I don't know if I should go up that side Wow This place is interesting Alright so I managed to catch one bit really net on a shrimp so we are gonna try this See how it goes. Alright folks, nothing happening good on that side, so decide to come to the back here and try them too. I'm gonna try a running line, they call it a switcher and a bank in line. Alright folks, nothing too spectacular happening on this little shoulder in here. Need cast after cast after cast and no fish. You can tell out somebody try something else hmm. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lovely. so we there. hope we get something nice yes we out here you know, next to front start your hey my boy got jam in night pull him up okay we nice we fishing banking rig or banking nice nice so we gonna dry them here so big up where's the name Drika? Yeah, Drika, Drika the boat. Yeah. Drika the boat. I right, so big up when we out here, we out here. I hope they get a little jam there in a bit. Look at hey, look at that day. Nice, nice. The man say I bring a little lock for me. Yeah. You catch it, you catch a big one. Pull out 16 pounds salmon from here already, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. Yeah. Right, well. Yeah, man. Nice, we can try them. Right, folks, I'm fed up, man. I'm a car touch ground. Control a bit around this Punchstrat Island here. See where we're going. But I can't tell you, that's good. Seems like it won't get more rougher than this. Right now. We have a fisherman fishing across there, he said normally he's coming and pull 10-15 salmon, catch one so far, I get one hit, then it's a one hit, so I'm going to try something else. Let's see how it goes. I need to get something before I leave here. <laughs> on when something exciting nice folks look at that we by the jail and we meet some good samaritans here a nice bait fresh bait here yeah, so we're gonna deal with them a little later hopefully well it is it's not me where sour <laughs> everybody's seeing pressure right now where is the name isaac and dave, I, isaac and dave. nice and really yeah well, well, hey Nah, no, nah, it has been in, it has been in. Where are you from? St. James. St. James, so big up. This crew from St. James here. Yeah. I still had to catch a fish before the day, didn't I? Nice. Right, folks, so we got to tie out from my partner across here, tie off on the back of the boat, and we are fishing here until the water, like, until the water get bad. Hopefully, we can get something here. If not, we're heading back so by the wreck and fish in front of the wreck. 
Stay tuned for the big jump. I must get something today. Nice folks, have a nice fish here, boy. Woo! Yeah! Yay! Run in, boy. If I am, if I pull him in my heart, he go, he go, um, he go burst. Yeah, boy. I didn't expect that, boy. Way! Yeah, boy! He burn in hand, he might be a burst on him. We will come back on when this all goes. Alright, folks. Paul Salam, the big stingray. Big stingray. Yeah. Huh? Nah. Nah. You want them? No. Big stingray. Alright, so we can cut them and release them. Alright, folks. That was our fight at the century day. That stingray gave me a serious fight. But um, I decided to keep him and put them in this boat now. They decided they had no gaff to left the gaff home, the brand new gaff I buy, leave it home. So let's see how it goes. Next fish is that good one. Yeah, folks, seems like you have a storm approaching. It's like no one. But we gotta make it to our shore close by. Look at that, I went out quite by Carrera. I catch nothing. Well, well I catch a big stingray. I, re I bring it up close to the boat and release it. And them fellas stay with us and catch a nice size red fish. Eh? Yeah. One? Yeah, I have a smaller one and a few kangas. Alright, alright. You do bad still. You had fun. <laughs> Main thing. Yeah, this we here. In this storm. Hey, look at that water looking good, that boy. Yeah. Check that out. Uh. Yeah. Hey, look at that. That, that looking like um, the movie The Fog. Yeah. <laughs> this is how you look in it. Huh? This is how you look in it. Where? With the image. Serious? Yeah, folks, this is the view them fellas was getting from them side. Now, you folks, look at that. We have my boy pulling up something on the side. Let me see what's coming up. I don't think the camera could pick it up good. But hey, Rod Ben, hey, Rod Ben and my Rod Ben and there, my Rod Maker 360. Good. You looking like a good size? Something with some good size. Yeah, boy. Nice fish, nice. Hey, look at it. A cavalli, boy. A cavalli and a Two? Hey, hey. Good. Hey, thing nice, thing nice. Yeah, folks, thing nice across there. Not here right now, but we'll get train of it. Well, t at least thing bite in here. Yeah, nice. All right, folks. So about this time, them fellas was fishing and didn't realize the kayak was sinking. About 15, 20 what? seconds back in, and the kayak might have gone underwater. So we had to. Um, for them to show. <laughs> yeah, folks, there's a small bike there. Look at that. Day. Man in danger. A bit. Not, not to say danger, danger, but kayaks are a sink. They have to do some serious modification to that. Yeah. 
say uh, give a wave, wave and smile. <laughs> wave and smile. Yeah, small, small vibes here. Eh. We'll miss half day. Another check that guy up. Next time. Yeah. Right folks, and the adventure continues. Kayak full of water. Man overboard. <laughs> <laughs> we need to empty this car and see the scene and we have a something like a little storm coming in. Hey, and look what going on right before the little mess up happens. Cavalli in the house here. Yeah, I'm going to catch it back. I'll take a picture with it. Look at this. Okay. Yeah, man. Alright, so let's see what we're going on. Right folks, look we here, we're heading out to fish again. Unfortunately, the hatch in this kayak is sealed properly. I wonder where this kayak was bought by. Okay, alright. Let's see. We're heading back out somewhere. Okay. Um, premium, right? Premium? Yes, sir, a little red. Yeah, awesome good wheat. Yeah, big ones, big ones there. <coughs> nice cast there man, hook him now Right here, big one. Yeah, no seat up. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Yeah, I see him. Oh, I'm getting hit. I'm getting hit. I'm getting real hit. He take it just now. He come and smell it and going back. I see him. I see him. Yeah. He come. Watch, watch. Yeah. What should you do? Yeah, boy. Eat it. Eat it, yeah. Oh yeah, what uh feel him again? Yeah. You don't smell that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like here, come back for that one. Yeah. Alright, let me see what we're doing here. Small red, small red. Alright, catch and release. Nice fish coming up there, man. Nice fish, man. All right, that's all right size. That's all right size. Yeah, fish it like you know, started the wide way. Hmm. Wee. 
Okay. Eh, eh, look, look! Look at the fish fall back in. It gone? <laughs> Catch and release. <laughs> 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 The fish jump back in. <laughs> oh lord, alright folks. All in it. Yes folks, we are Zari on our next fish day. I can't get a good bite yet, but see what? There's nothing. Oh. I don't know why it's a walk in our way. Yeah. Next reds. Same one, same one. Alright, we're going to catch and release this one. Yeah, that big one. I think we're the same size, yes? Same size like, no. This one is a little smaller than the Last one. one we get away. But here, he bigger than the one where you release. Yeah. Reds in the house here. Yeah. And it's about to get dark in a bit. Right folks, you look into here, you know and call it a day. It was a successful day, we had fun. I catch a snake, a stingray. I get two catfish. I know I'm gonna do with it yet. We'll see how it goes. Helen Marquis now. Nice folks, look at that. We reach back on shore after that little tragedy there. The vibe was nice. That is where the kayak fishing group is about. We create a kayak fishing group for these kind of adventures. So big up to Timothy, nice meeting Timothy for the first time. And um big up to um watch Zahir, Zahir. Yeah, so hope you all enjoyed that little adventure, the little scenery and stuff. We catch more fish, but it was fun. So see you all in the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Look, we have some of the fish we want. Are you too big as well, eh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I didn't catch these. Yeah, yeah. Zahir catch these. Yeah, Zahir catch them. This is Zahir catch. Nice. <laughs> right, so yeah. Well, nice, it? See you all in the next one.